All right, there we go. <clears throat> Yo, what's up? What's going on? All right. Not too much. Just, uh, I don't know. Just around. I'm working on some route types, uh, some harder route types for Akatsuki. It's uh, going, I guess I'll say. <laughs> All right. So, for those who don't know, uh, Jushishi will be coming down to New York City this upcoming. Well, he'll be here what, tomorrow. Uh, I fly out after work tomorrow, but I I'll get to like Angel's place at like midnight or something. So yeah. uh, there there might be a good chunk of people showing up Friday to play casuals, and then Saturday is like the real shit. That's when everyone's gonna show up. Yeah. All right, so let's start this off. <clears throat> I mean, ugh. all right, there we go. So the first ex- I don't know if it's the first one, but it's that's how the order goes on the Lunar Phase Twitter. The first one yeah. I see is a uh, school school bus versus Frozen Core. It sounded like you were about to say schoolgirl. That's funny. But, uh, yeah. So, um, as I guess the person that, uh, primarily worked to put this stuff together, um, we were just trying to match up some, uh, some matches that seemed kind of interesting. I don't know if we had like a hard plan. Like, we're, we're still kind of like playing everything by ear. Um, just making sure that everybody's in one place about, when to run it we still don't really have a time or like a set order i imagine it'll really just depend on when people get there right but uh yeah one of the first ones that i i was looking into since i found out that frozen core like you know i I hit him up on the discord like yo i'm coming through to new york uh because he came through for uh super tsb Mm -hmm. this year yes uh i was like yo come through you know let's meet for the first time because you know frozen core is in case uh, people didn't happen to know, Frozen Core has been my training partner since EL. Like, I've been playing with him and Proto Soul. If you remember seeing him around online, uh, like, I play with those guys since like 2017 or something like that, maybe even 2016. So, uh, I'm glad that he was able to come through. So, him versus uh, Fendo, aka School Bus, should be really interesting. The uh the initial one actually was potentially Frozen Core versus Red Blade, but Red wasn't able to make it. Right. Uh, right. And Findo, I think Findo played an exhibition with Froze at Super TSB. They did, yes. Like uh, the impromptu exhibition. Mm-hmm. I think I don't remember who won that actually. I know it's on the Lunar Face chain, channel, so I'll I'll probably pop back and look at it again. But uh. I am super interested in this because I have no idea who's going to win this. Me neither. Yeah, Frozen maybe won by like a game. I think so. I saw Subuse. Subuse. There we go. Subuse mentioned it in your chat. Hmm. Uh, Froze, I'm sure, has only gotten stronger since then. Fendo has definitely gotten stronger since then. This is like pretty sick because this is like a premiere match. Like that's yeah, it's exciting. I feel like that should be last if like things l- align correctly. Mm, I don't know, because, like, you have a, a couple different ones, like, Fox Sub versus Infinity, bro? Bro, okay, uh, like, I'll bring yeah, that one up we'll, next. We'll get down, yeah, we'll, we'll get down to that one. Okay. But, uh, we, we can cycle back a little bit and continue to talk about Froze versus uh, Infinity. Or, uh, excuse me, Froze Fendo. versus Fendo. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. I'm super tired, but, uh, uh... Same, same. Yeah, so that matchup is, like, pretty even i think um i know froze like (laughs) froze has not been uh subtle with his disdain of wagner and like that matchup so i know (laughs) he's been working pretty hard as far as uh oh gurudan pansu thank you for following makoto fox oh shit got one of the best streams out there but uh yeah he hasn't been uh subtle with his disdain of Wagner. Wagner, and I know Findo has long felt kind of frustrated in the matchup against uh, Aurier. Mm-hmm. And both players are pretty defensive, I think I would say. So th- this one should be another really good one. Like, the the set before was good, and I expect this one to be just as good. Hmm. I agree, I agree. Can't wait to hopefully do commentary on that one. Yeah, I want to hop on some of these, too. If yeah, I can get definitely. on for this one, I definitely want to yeah, I, th- I think you should just strong arm your way and be like, yo, I'm in there. Get out of my way. You definitely got to do that shit. 
the the only downside to it is uh i guess i'm the main to for the side event stuff so Damn. if this is running yeah uh i'll i'll get into that after we kind of poke through some of these matchups mm-hmm. here okay Let's see uh so next that's here is oh, all right it's myself and against initial, initial j, j. Yeah. yeah so how are you feeling about this one potentially how comfortable uh, are you against Biakia? I'm actually okay fighting the character. Like, mm. I know where I kind of know where I'm allowed to press buttons. I I've learned what's fake nowadays, so now I I know mm. the option select to get out of like that Rekka website <laughs> shit. I can get out of that now. Yeah. Um, I know spacing for six six C, so that that's also really strong. So I don't have to worry about getting hit like full screen trying to shoot him. So I, that shouldn't mm-hmm. happen too often unless. You know, off the air or something, but yeah, I feel okay. Yeah, I know Jay uh, specifically has some of the most creative setups on like on the Oki situation as any Biakia in North America. Mm-hmm. Uh, his two web set stuff is pretty interesting. I know um, the like recently one of the the things that I've seen Biakias do is kind of mirror off of Clear Lamp, where uh, he runs up and does like a slightly high TK. Like normally uh, the web. If if Biakia waits, the web will hit you if he doesn't do anything. Right. But uh, if they do, I think maybe A or C. I, I don't remember exactly which one, but there's like a height that they can do uh, where you don't you aren't forced to block, so you never go into guard stun. But if they throw you, uh, you fall into the web right in front. So I've seen uh, I've seen him do that setup. He has a couple other like two web setups. Um, It'll be interesting to see how you can navigate this one, actually. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, uh, I don't know, because, like, for whatever reason, I'm, like, a day-to-day person when it comes to, like, playing in tournament. Like, mm-hmm. like uh, what was it, last weekend, I felt okay. I was like, okay, you know, I played as well as I thought I could. I probably could have, like, picked up one or two things. That's fine. Mm-hmm. But Super TSB, I was just like, yo, I don't, like, I was just like, yo, I don't want to play Uni. Not about it today. So hopefully, uh, hopefully Saturday will be another one of those pretty good days for you as far as uni. I think uh, this is definitely a very interesting matchup to see. I don't kind of. I feel like this is going to be the the kind of cop out card of or the cop out comment for all of these cards. But like, I I can't really pick one here. Uh, I I think it definitely could go either way. Uh, Elton versus Biakia is definitely a, a very volatile matchup too. Mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. All right, so let's see. Next one we have. Oh, it's yourself versus NYCZ Brandon. Yeah, it is me versus Brandon. So, uh, Brandon in the I think money match that I ended up playing with him. I want to say like we played a first to two or a first to three. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it was a first to two for five. Uh, it was, like, right after the team's tournament, he beat me 2-0 there. Um, aside from that, like, around Michigan Masters, I felt like I was going pretty even with him. Right. Uh, I don't like playing him online, because, <laughs> like, you know, getting J6 speed online is just super annoying. But, uh, honestly, like, I don't feel super confident about this. Like, I have managed to generally do relatively well against Outnomes, or not Outnomes, but, uh, Linays? Yeah, against Linays, but like the fact that I have to change some of my routing on the fly because she falls out of certain stuff. Oh yeah, uh, I hate that shit. Makes me more hesitant than I need to be. Mm-hmm. Uh and so like that's kind of a that's like a, a factor that I think goes into it. Uh the other thing is like Brandon's good. Like he's very good. Yeah. Um I think maybe I can trick him into being too aggressive and like i don't think that my damage output especially with some of the stuff i've been practicing recently uh will go behind lines so this could be kind of an explosive one too i think if i were to win it would be kind of close like maybe five three five four right but it's possible that i just get run over so it huh. happens um I will say that it's possible that I start Aurier against Brandon. Wait, really? It really just depends on, yeah. I really like Aurier versus Lene. Hmm. And I especially like Aurier versus Lene offline. 
<laughs> that's really probably a test. Okay. So, uh, I can see yeah, that. Yeah, you might see me start Aurier. All right, I feel it's that. It's pretty unlikely. Mm-hmm. All right. I f- well, that's the thing. Like, I feel because the thing with Fendo is like Fendo might play uh, Wagner or Carmine. I actually I think... forgot you play like two other characters. I keep forgetting that for some reason. Yeah, I don't play Nanase at all, really, anymore. Oh, okay, but, okay. Um, I think f- with Fendo's case, we can very safely assume that he starts Wagner. Yeah. I think Carmine <laughs> Carmine Norie is really rough for Mm-mm. Carmine sometimes. Mm-mm. And I know already um, Findo doesn't particularly like to play against Orie, so I expect that he just plays the strongest thing out of the gate. But right. he has been playing and practicing Carmine a lot recently. Yeah. All right. Off of that, we'll go to the next one, which will be that guy versus, versus LTP. LTP. All right. Oh, boy. This one's good, too. There's so many good ones. So how'd, how'd you even think of this one? Because, like, honestly, I wouldn't even have thought that, like, that guy and LTP would be coming down in the same weekend. <laughs> so, uh, not for nothing, I suggested to TG, because he was uh, thinking about coming up for the Teams thing that we ran in Columbus. Because mm-hmm. uh, I was just like, hey, you know, we have space if you need to crash and you guys are coming up here anyway. Like, come through. But TG ended up uh, seeing that the New York event was popping more. And I don't, I don't blame him because I... I kind of like was trying to advertise it as well. I was talking to, um, well, we'll we'll go through the uh, the registration list so far, and I'll I'll mention how much, uh, how many players that I kind of mentioned to to come out. Right. But uh, TG and LTP were both two of those players that was just like, hey, you know, I'm coming through. This is pre Evo. I actually got Frozen Core to leave New Jersey and come. <laughs> uh, and I think that was probably a, a little bit of a factor. I won't claim to say that me suggesting that they come made them come, but maybe that helped a little bit. Bro, I honestly um, don't know why okay. Frozen Core even showed up for uh, Super TSB. Uh, I mean, he does want to play offline sometimes, but he works, uh, I think, like at a grocery store, and I think he uh, does some, some school stuff aside from that. Right. Before it was like money, and now it's just kind of time. Time. But um, originally, though, um, this was supposed to be me versus LTP. I mm. uh, feel very confident in the phone on matchup. Like, um, very, very confident in the phone on matchup. And so at one point, uh, I was, like, talking about that, and Red said something akin to, uh, you know, how do you feel about LTP? And I was just like, well, I mean, I, I think I think that I would do very well. Uh, when LTP and I played in Japan, I think it was relatively my favor. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Red was like, you know, I, of course he 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 likes his boys, so you're just like, yeah. yeah, if you guys play, I'm gonna put money on LTP. Yeah, and I'm like, a word. <laughs> so <laughs> that was originally the suggestion, but um, I had also wanted to money match Brandon, so I was just like, you know, uh, TG had requested, like, hey, you know, how about I play LTP? Okay. And I was like, you know what? That's fine. Because originally I think TG was supposed to play Brandon, but like we've all seen them play each other like a fair amount, like at events and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, well, how about we switch off? I'll play Brandon because like me playing Brandon isn't super common. Right. And right. I don't know when the last time TG has actually played LTP. Um, I know that there's like Strott down there who now plays Phonon. Mm-hmm. So I was like, Let's try to see if we can get some matchups that I don't think we've seen before. Yeah, you're right. Because, like, a lot of... Well, well yeah. I mean, out of events, Brandon. Not, not online. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, because I was thinking about it. It's like, you don't really see Biakia versus Phonon that much, and then you don't see uh, TG and LTP. Well, TG you see at most majors now, but LTP, you don't see him that often. And but TG versus JJ. Uh, actually, from what I understand, though... um. Both of them were at Frosty Faustings. Mm-hmm. Uh, both of them were at Combo Breaker. Mm-hmm. But I don't know how much they played each other. Yeah, because I feel like at Majors, you usually don't play everybody. You try to play as many people as you can. Yeah. So sometimes some one or two people will slip away. So that might have been one of the um, exceptions there, which mm-hmm. I feel like. I also feel like most people don't want to fight Phonon. 
because they're like, yo, her range is OD, and she just throws fireballs, she does mad damage, I'm like, bro, just block, you're, you're good. Yeah, and I, I think um, TG, TG has a lot of confidence in his defense, and I think, like, I, I think um, Magnets and I, like, when we watched him play Scrot at uh, Slam, mm-hmm. the Southern Louisiana age, uh, area major, uh, he was kind of getting cooked at first, but he pulled it together. So I, I'd have to imagine that by now, TG has a little bit more uh, confidence against Phonon. And I know LTP at some point has probably played Reds, Biakia. Not that that's a comparable thing necessarily, but he might be able to uh, navigate uh... around Biakia a little bit more comfortable. Mm-hmm. Um, so this matchup is like super interesting for me uh, as far as that. I also know LTP is super aggressive when he plays phone on, like super yeah. aggressive. Like I see him do like dash C into like late special cancel shit. And I'm just like, yeah, I would have got hit by that because I would have, I'd press a button. Yeah. You know, uh, I think uh, anybody that has to play against LTP, and maybe I'm tossing the cat out of the bag a little bit. You want to be very wary of the P2 corner God against him. Uh, <sighs> you have to know what's up. And LTP is definitely a player that, like, studies a lot of stuff. He has a, a bunch of documents on OSs for Phonon and uh, different answers for them and things like that. Like, he's a very studied player. Mm. Uh, but trends offensively, I think, maybe, like, most of the North, the higher parts of the Northeast, you know, Red and and uh, Venice and Isaac and, of course, LTP himself. So this will be a very interesting matchup to see. I agree. All right, and then let's move on to the last exhibit. Box of 42 versus Infinity Hide. Oh my goodness. This, I've never seen these two play. And uh, I know this another. This was another matchup that kind of came about because uh, we were poking around and Fox was talking about uh, potentially coming down. So I was just like, all right, well, who would be a pretty good matchup for... Uh, for Fox of. Mm -hmm. Initially, I think he wanted to play Fendo, Mm -hmm. but when we got Fendo, uh, because I think it was supposed to be maybe Fox Fendo and Frozen Core Red, but with uh, Red Red not not being able to come, Mm -hmm. we kind of switched things around a little bit. And then I I reached out to Infinity, uh, who I found out had a little bit of an interest in coming, and I was just like, hey, you know, would you like to play an exhibition? Uh, Fox had expressed interest in playing, and he was like, yeah, sure. I was like, oh. Oh, shit, all right, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, this this one, I can't call it either, because, like, uh, Infinity played pretty well at CB. I got to watch him firsthand and talk to him while we were in Japan. Uh, he was playing very well there. Like, I know he impressed a lot of the Japanese players over there. And then uh, if people happen to, you know, watch... Fox of versus Clearlamp, where he very nearly could have eliminated Clearlamp before mm-hmm. he got back to red. Uh, I'm sure that a lot of the players were impressed by Vitista there, too. So, you know, these are some of the, the top, like, 10% of North American uni, like, in one matchup right there. And it's one that we haven't seen in a while, because, like, I think not since Rao has there really been a prolific Vitista like out in this side of the uh the US. Yes, I agree. Usually it's just Myco and Sabrosian that mm-hmm. we know of. Uh White Beast absolutely is one to come up. You have Erico in Georgia. She's uh on the come up as well, but like Fox is the premier, I think, Batista at this point in North America. I agree. 